really surprised that Phil just being back in that start, start, starting side and being along your wrong side to go back there on the house there. Yeah, we've, um, you know, we've all been training hard. Um, competition's been good around that area and the, the nines and tens. And um, you know, I've been working hard, um, been in there and around it. And, yeah, it's exciting to, to, to get into that starting spot. Um, you know, been, we've got an opportunity now. Got to go out there and make the most of it. But um, I'll be be lying if I <clears throat> didn't really think too much about it in terms of just thinking about the team and, and what we need to do. Um, and nothing changes from where I've been, from Wales 1, Wales 2, Georgia, it's just about um, preparing the side, whether at the starting bench or out of the team. So we've we're, we're, we're been working hard this week, obviously got a few things we've got to, we've got to fix. <laughs> we've got to uh, certainly saw where the benchmark is, um, you know, the you know, back-to-back world champs, um, you know, they're right at the top of the tree and, and now we know what that, that looks and feels like. So, um, you know, been working hard this week and, and nothing changes in terms of yeah my, my attitude towards um, doing the best I can to help those guys around me and, and help the team and um, first and foremost looking after my own game. When you go through a loss like that, do you think it's better to just sort of park to that and move on completely to next week or can you use that energy and use that motivation to really get the best out of the side for when you run out Saturday? Yeah, like I said, we, we got a We've got, we've got a feel of where the benchmark's at. Certainly don't want to just cut and leave it. Um, you know, we, you know, we want to look at the areas that we can fix. Um, you know, again, looking at mainly our own backyard. Um, you know, with the pressure they gave us, like they're, they're an unbelievable team and put you under a lot of pressure. And, and under that pressure, you've got to be able to, to, to perform your game plan. And, and that was probably something we were a little bit disappointed with, but it's an exciting opportunity that you don't get very often where you get to play the same team two weeks in a row, and so the gift the rugby championship gives you. Um, so you know, the, the ability to, to play them again, albeit a, you know, a, a little bit of a different side, we know that they're, they've got a DNA of how they play and, and the guys that, that are coming in are world class. Right. And uh, you know, so yeah, look, it's certainly not brushing it aside, but you know, um, in terms of pressures a team can put on you, they're the best in the world at doing it, and, and that's what you want. You want, you want to see how you, you're able to, to perform and, and, and perform the game plan under those um, extreme pressures. So, yeah, we, we stepped in the ring and, and caught one of the nose and probably got a bit rattled. But we get a chance to step in a, you know, in, into the ring with another, you know, with the heavyweights again, right at the top of the tree. And, and, and this time, hopefully, um, you know, when we feel that pressure, not as rattled and, and able to, to exert some pressure back on them in, in the ways that we wanted to. And we just weren't able to do that last week. So, yeah. So they don't brush it. We've looked at those areas in which they do put pressure on, and, and we've just got to be a little bit better there. And uh, the exciting thing is we get a chance to do it again. Sometimes you play a test team and you've got to wait 12 months before you get a chance to to kind of go at them again. So yeah, it's it's an exciting challenge. Harry, you were obviously right in the middle of the heavyweight contest against the forwards that Nick talked about. Can you just take us into the feelings of, of the pack, how you guys feel you can respond and also just how physically difficult was it in terms of the contest they put on you? Yeah, it was definitely, I guess, a step up from, I guess, the past few matches we've all faced. And um, yeah, it was a good, we learned, I guess, a good bit of reality last weekend. And I guess it's forward something we're relishing to have another crack at them again this week. And um, yeah, there's a plenty of learnings for us. We know how much we have to keep stepping up at set piece time. and. At scrums, line out and malls, because you know if we lay a good platform, it'll, it'll definitely help us. So, um, yeah, it's just a good opportunity for us to have another go at them. Nick, you obviously know the stadium fairly well, um, being in being in being in Perth. How do you think, uh, for both of you, you'll respond to potentially even a bigger South African crowd here in Perth? What would you like <laughs> to see from the Wallabies fans? Yeah, there's certainly plenty of South Africans here in Perth. I don't blame them. It's a beautiful spot. <laughs> it's uh, you know. Um, yeah, look, it was surprising probably in Brizzy, but it won't be surprising this week at how many they'll be here. So, um, look, you know, rugby's supported well over here in the West. Um, there's plenty of Kiwis, plenty of South Africans, plenty of expats, plenty of Irish over here as well in English. So, um, yeah, look, like I said, I don't blame them wanting to, to get over here to Oz and certainly get to Perth because it's a cracking spot, as you can see outside. Harry, let's just expand on that. You played a lot of rugby at Suncorp, but what was it like last week putting out onto the pitch and most of the fans almost... Right in the corner, it seemed it was a lot of green jerseys and pretty loud as well. Yeah, yeah, it was it was quite quite different there. Um, 
I guess when we were driving to the stadium, we, had, we saw a lot of green jerseys and it was different. But uh, I guess one thing, we still heard the, the Wallaby crowd cheer for us and um, even though they were probably outnumbered, uh, they definitely were very loud and got behind us. So um, honestly, playing in front of sold out stadiums is, is awesome. It doesn't really matter who, who they're going for. It's just an opportunity for us to, I guess, put ourselves under pressure against um, in front of a lot of people, which is always exciting. And um, yeah, look forward to having another go at it this weekend. Individually, you played two tests now, uh, back-to-back Georgia and game last week. Have you rated your own form being back in the back in the Wallaby setup? Yeah, obviously I've enjoyed being back in here and having a few uh, tests in a row. And um, I guess personally, I've been happy with where where my game's been at. And I know I've still got a lot lot to go, but um, I guess for me, it's just keep building on my performance week in week out. And um, I guess there's no better opportunity than trying to perform well against the Springboks because. Uh, as a forward, if, if you play well and you have mates around you play well, it'll go a long way for us winning the game. So, excited for the battle this weekend. Nick, you've seen a lot of guys, young guys, come into this team in your journey, uh, make their debuts. What's it about Max Jorgensen that's a little bit special, a little bit different? He's bloody tough, eh? Like he's, um, you know, certainly, no matter what gets thrown at him, whether it's the pressures of the moment, the, the crowd, or physically the, the the game like he just seems to take it in his stride um and he's just like he's tough eh? um like just seems like nothing rattles him and uh you know the the guys you've seen come through that's that's just how they take it so um certainly no worry with him going in in there and performing um he'll do his job and do it well and um you know, whatever gets thrown at him he'll certainly be ready for it he's uh, an exciting he's bloody quick too Plenty of brand forecasts for game day, and there's also been concerns about the stadium during AFL matches. <coughs> are, are there any concerns there heading into the match that it might not be up to scratch given the conditions as well? Nah, a bit different AFL. Um, we're um, happy to play in the mud. We've both got to play in it. Um, you know, she might be coming in sideways, but both teams have got to play in it and adapt to it. And um, yeah, we might ruin it for our West Coast on Sunday, but uh, in terms of our game, uh, we'll. Uh, yeah, you know, where, wherever we go, whether it's up north and it's snowing or um, you know, going to Fiji this year and, and playing in the swimming pool, um, mate, it should be all right. So but we've just, we just got to adapt to that. Certainly there's things around your game plan that you, you'll adapt to and we've spoken about that this week and I'm sure they will. But um, yeah, both teams have got to plan it so it's not an excuse by any way. And does it advantage one side or another in terms of just the rain? Uh, probably just uh, an advantage to the team that adapts to it the quickest. Um, you know, and yeah, it'll probably be a different game to a hard deck, fast deck, dry deck that was in Brisbane, that's for sure. But um, the ways in which you can attack, because you still can attack, it'll just be in a different way. Nick, I was going to say, um, Mareki coming back to the side and the squad for this Springbok series, well, we see what he can do on the field, but can you just describe Mareki as a character off it, just what he can bring to a group and that sort of energy? <laughs> he's, uh, he's special, mate. He's one of a kind. Uh, Marika, <laughs> when you talk about like tough blokes, when you talk about Max at the other end of the spectrum, uh, you know, an older older bloke like Marika, like he is just made of granite. Um, he is like stop or go, and so when you steps across that white line, it is everything go, and just the ability to empty the tank. You know, you, you know I've played with some special blokes <coughs> in my career that are, have the ability to just empty the tank into absolutely everything they do, every single action uh, right at the top of that's Marika. Um, you know, kick chase, whether it's going into to contact, like you, you guys have the highlights of all of it. Um, it it's special that, the, you know, he, his high speed running, his, his ability to back that up, effort on effort on effort. And then, you know, when it comes to contact, he's as hard as anybody. Like I said, he's absolute granite. So, um, and he, he's a man of few words, uh, does all his speaking that way. But um, I'll tell you what, when he does choose to speak, <laughs> you listen. Um, and he just has that aura, like you almost have to seek Marika's permission with things, you know, around, around the group, off, off the field and uh, like, is, is that okay Marika, get the nod, okay, we're good to go, like, he's, our, he's certainly our, uh, yeah, a leader of such. Nick, can you take us uh, through, I know you weren't obviously playing um, in the last test, can you take us through the review with Joe, I mean, how was it, was it sort of positive this is what we can do or was it fairly exact thing from what I've been through? Oh, look, to be honest, no. 
I'm not going to go through the review of what Joe went through and how he went through it. That's that's for us in these walls, and uh, we'd like to keep it that way. I think that's the smart way to do it. Springboks are good enough. Don't want to give him any any ups here. So uh, yeah, look, he's uh, he's a smart operator. I think uh, you know the way in which he goes about it. There's certainly positives. But there's also areas we need to work on. I don't want to go into too much detail. Harry, a couple of questions. Um, this has been an ongoing problem for the Wallabies for a number of years now. Is there a need to, to just pull back a bit, pull back at the breakdown, an extra step on the offside line? Um, obviously, you don't want to give away that little bit of extra advantage, but I guess where's the balance there? Yeah, well, obviously, you're not, never going to step back um, and around the breakdown. Everyone's got to, has got the opportunity to back themselves and make the right decision. And obviously, um, it has hurt us, our discipline on the weekend, the first half when. You give away penalty after penalty, it makes it quite tough for you. But um, I guess it's just it's just on the individual to to work hard, um, get in the position, and not make that I guess sort of error because yeah, it definitely does hurt us and makes it a lot harder.